Hey everyone, welcome to the Front Row with Ed. Today we're gonna to talk about a patient of mine. He is a 72 year old male who has Parkinson's and I have given him a series of exercises that I want him to work on and I want him to work on them on the floor. Uh, the bed is just too soft. Plus getting up and down off the floor is a very functional activity that we should all be doing. Now when we're younger, we don't think about it, right? We just pop down, pop back up, don't think about it. But for a lot of senior citizens and mature adults and people with neurological conditions like Parkinson's, it's a very difficult thing to do. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it. It's important that you try to do it as independently as possible, which means without help from anybody else and without the use of a chair or anything else, if possible. The first thing we have to do is figure out which leg feels stronger. So in this example, I'm going to pretend that my right leg is my stronger leg. So what I'll do is put both my hands on my right knee and slowly kick my left leg out and lower myself down to, to half kneeling. Reach down to the floor for balance, kick this leg back, now I'm on all fours, can slowly swing down this way here, and I'm on the floor. And I can do all my great exercises down here on the floor. When I'm done, I roll onto my side. And I try to come up here onto all fours. Once I'm on all fours, once again, my stronger leg. So in this example, it's going to be my right leg. My right leg is here. I bring both hands onto my knee and I push myself up and I'm standing. If I have some difficulty doing that independently, rather than using somebody else, I'll use a prop. So let me grab a chair and I'll show you what it looks like. In this example, I'm using a chair just to give myself a little bit more support. Same thing, you kick your leg out, come down to kneeling, all fours, walk backwards a little bit, come down on your side, and then on your back able to exercise. When you're done, you roll onto your side first, and you work your way onto all fours. Crawl yourself forward to the chair, both hands on the chair. Strong leg up first. Both hands on the chair. And slowly pull yourself up. And there you go. As we start to get older, basic functional tasks like getting up and down off the floor become more challenging. But we have to continue to do them because otherwise we lose the ability to do it. I've got three kids, 18, 16, and 12. Right, so I don't get down on the floor anymore to play games with them. But when we're younger, we're on the floor all the time. So it's really important to exercise, and if you can, get on the floor daily, do your stretches, do your foam rolling. If you need some help, remember how I showed you how to get up and down off the floor. If you need a prop, grab a stable chair, but you have no excuse. So if you have any questions, let me know, and good luck.